So I came to India again to celebrate Uttran. It's where we fly kites. So you're probably wondering right now, what is Uttran? And fear not, because I'm going to walk you through it. Uttran marks a point when the sun starts moving from its southern position to a more northern position. This usually occurs around January 14th, and that's usually when Uttran is. There are two days of Uttran, January 14th and January 15th, which is Vasi Uttran. And what people do to celebrate Uttran is probably the coolest part. They take to their roofs and fly kites and fly mini hot air balloons and fire fireworks from their rooftops. So let's get into the festival of Uttran. So the night before Uttran, people take to the streets and get their last minute kites, hot air balloons, and strings. These large spinning metal drums are used by workers to wrap the string around until they can properly put the string onto a smaller barrel. This is also where the string gets its color, its pinkish color. They pass the string through the ink as it goes onto the metal barrel. 
The reason why the rope gets a glass coating is so that it increases the amount of friction expelled on the other rope, hence cutting it. Now the objective of Utran is to cut someone else's kite. That's why the strings have a glass coating. No one really knows why or how this started. I guess it's just for sport. After pulling the rope for so long, your hands start to bear the signs. Utran is a type of festival that everyone enjoys. Hours and hours later, as the sun starts to set, people start putting down their kites and start launching hot air balloons and fireworks. The sky now fills up with a beautiful array of hot air balloons and fireworks. I'm going to stop talking now and let the festival talk for itself. It's not just something you take, it's given